And things happen pretty quickly after the release. So the pilots are going to light the rocket motor and they're going to accelerate in level flight until they reach Mach 1, at which point they'll start what we call the gamma turn, where we turn directly up and head to space. Three, two, one, release, release, release. Clean release. Ignition. Good rocket motor burn. There's Mach 1 trimming now. Trim complete, Unity is pointed directly up and heading to space. Things are looking great. We are 25 seconds into the burn now, approaching Mach 2. 30 seconds, Mach 2. Everything's looking really good and stable. 40 seconds. 45 seconds. Fifty seconds approaching Mach three. There's Mach three. And sixty seconds, and that is a full duration burn, folks. We are headed to space. And the passengers in the back have been cleared to unstrap. Our predicted apogee is two hundred and seventy nine thousand feet and climbing. The pilots are now unlocking the feather and um, as soon as they do that, it's going to initiate a backflip for Spaceship Unity. This is normal. We want those windows pointed down towards the Earth to maximize that incredible view. So Feather is coming up now, and the pilots are also enabling the RCS, or Reaction Control System, which is what they'll use to control the attitude of the vehicle while we're outside the atmosphere. All right, Feather is all the way up. We are at about 250,000 feet now and climbing as soon as we cross the boundary to space. We'll hear a word from our founder, Sir Richard Branson. Welcome to space, Unity 22. And Beth. Oh, you can see him now. So we are on the re-entry portion of our flight now, and the mission specialists are heading back to their seats. Our training team has worked really hard on this portion of the flight to make it very natural and intuitive for passengers. Now, when we talk about space travel, a lot of people know and expect the boost portion of the flight to be loud and thrilling. Uh, but what's interesting is re-entry is also very similar as supersonic air is flowing over the vehicle in the feathered configuration. Shock waves form on top of the cabin, which are audible to those inside. And for those of you on site watching on the ground, you should be able to hear a double sonic boom as Spaceship Unity once again breaks the sound barrier. I don't know about you all, but I'm still feeling overwhelmed and excited about what we just witnessed. And there's one person in particular who's got to be having all of the feels right now. You can see him sending a congratulatory shake to his passenger, Colin Bennett, there with him. Let's see if we can connect. So we are at 22,000 feet now and descending. And as I mentioned earlier, Unity is a glider at this point. Um, so the pilots right now are discussing their energy management plan. And pretty shortly here, they'll be meeting up with our Chase aircraft with Jamil and Patrick to get some really cool visuals of Spaceship Unity. Now, as the crew and spaceship make their way across the desert, they are gliding over one of the most remarkable landscapes in the United States and the largest desert in North America, the Chihuahuan Desert. The area around Spaceport includes more than 6,000 square miles of restricted airspace and high desert, which is one of the reasons it was built here. And of course, our future astronauts will be able to take in so much of that natural beauty and, you know, of course, we also have White Sands nearby. White Sands National Park is just to our east. It's visible right over the Black Range Mountains. 
White Sands, of course, has been the backdrop for so many films, commercials, and music videos, and it's known for having the largest gypsum dune field on the planet. Khalid's music. Main gear touchdown. And we're gonna hold it just like this for a minute before bringing the nose down. Can see they're already celebrating inside there. And the nose is coming down now. Nose gear touchdown. And braking. that incredible drone footage here as we come in. And there is full stop. All right. A perfect landing Virgin Galactic or mission specialist on board from our operational home base, Spaceport America. A beautiful day of flight. What a moment. Congratulations to everybody on board and, of course, our very own Spaceship Unity who returned to space today. And, of course, we also saw beautiful flying from our EVE crew, CJ and Kelly, and brilliant work by our chase pilots, Jamil and Patrick, all of whom are still in the air right now. Great job to you all. Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. More than half a century since the world rejoiced.